She showed a lot of what we've seen from her so far. Pretty stone faced, very emotionless. I did see her avert her eyes uh, at certain instances. She was holding a pen, but she wasn't necessarily writing anything down, almost as if she was using it to take her attention away. Meanwhile, Caitlin Armstrong's parents right there behind her, that obviously got to be tough for them to see as well. They had their eyes trained on the screen. They were not averting their eyes. They wanted to see exactly what was in front of them. Mo Wilson's family, absent from the courtroom, can't blame them. Clearly, they got tipped off, and they decided to sit this one out. What about the jury? Because it's one thing to see what the, you know, the, the defendant's reaction is. Of course, we know the victim's families are going to be devastated and likely not present. That's often the case. But the jury is the critical arbiter here. What did they look like? Yeah, there are several computer screens and monitors that are right in front of each of these jury members. And I got to tell you, every single one of them was very zoned in, focused in on it, uh, looking at that evidence that was before them. And then on top of that, the assistant district attorney actually took off his sport coat and stood up in front of the jury and had the medical examiner use a very long dowel to point and show the trajectories of the bullets, the one that went through the nose and out through the jaw, the other one that went through the back of the head and out the chin. And so that way, he, they were able to see on an actual physical human what that looks like right there in front of them. It was very, very compelling. Another issue in court today I thought was so fascinating was the DNA that was found on Mo Wilson's bike, on the handlebars, on the seat, but then also DNA found on the gun. What, what was critical about those findings? Yeah, the big thing that people could take away from that is that there was a very strong likelihood, which is the best that really a DNA expert can provide because they can never actually give a 100% guarantee, but a very strong likelihood that Caitlin Armstrong's DNA was found on those items that you mentioned, the handlebars, the seat, and also the possible murder weapon. Obviously, this is huge when it comes to DNA analysis. They want to see whether or not that actually exists. And to your point that you've mentioned so many times, there is no reason at all that Caitlin Armstrong's DNA would be anywhere near Mo Wilson's bike. They weren't friends. They didn't hang out. She never actually rode her bike. So that is a really big red flag in the eyes of jury members who all of a sudden see this finally connecting the dots. Yeah, and the defense didn't put any ideas in their heads as to why Caitlin's DNA would be on Mo's handlebars or Mo's seat when she is not friends with Mo and spends no time riding with her. Um, I, uh, this was amazing. The jury got to see the escape video when Caitlin Armstrong took off from her jail guards yeah. after that hospital visit. And you learned so much more about it. Walk me through it. What did we, uh, what did we find out? Yeah, I know this was one moment that we've been talking about forever. If they're going to actually see that jailhouse escape, and we really learned a lot more about it. Number one, the fact that uh, she went to the hospital to be treated for a shoulder injury. She told the doctor that a corrections officer at the jail had kicked her, and that's how she sustained the shoulder injury. In injury. Whether or not we know that's true or not, we don't quite know. Uh, that's the reason why she wasn't wearing any leg restraints. She actually freed herself from the handcuffs when she was actually making that escape because this sheriff's deputy testified that she actually had handcuffs on before. So that's a big question, how she was able to actually get herself out of those. She actually led this chase for about half a mile away before being captured. They say that Caitlin Armstrong was very calm when she was captured. She wasn't in any sort of panic. And then the greatest irony of all, she was actually captured on Wilson Street. Can you believe that, Ashley? Wow. Are you kidding? Well, there's one other thing I think I, I saw um, that she had, the do she had a doctor's note to, to make sure she wasn't wearing leg irons. Is that, is that true? That is true. The sheriff's deputy said that they actually saw the, the note. It was true. It was authentic. It came from the jailhouse doctor. It had to do with that shoulder industry, shoulder injury, which is why she wasn't wearing those leg restraints. Um, and so the sheriff's deputy says that was enough for her to follow those orders. And that's the reason why she was able to make wow. such a quick getaway. Fascinating. Alex Capriello, great reporting on this. Thank you for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.